Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, the previous video I put out where I was asking if uh, you need me to speak uh, at a slower pace or not, um, I mentioned palm striking and stuff like that, and that also got me thinking about a common question I get asked. It's, you know, is it better to punch or to use a palm strike, or when's the best time to use the punch and not a palm strike and all this? And so, first off, let me clear up some misconceptions. One misconception that I hear a lot of the time by people that are in this uh, field of reality-based self-defense is that they say, never, ever, ever punch with a closed fist because you'll, um, you'll break your knuckle, you'll bust your knuckle. Okay, first off, yes, there is a chance that you'll break... Yes, there is a chance that you'll break uh, your knuckles. It doesn't necessarily mean that you will, okay? It also doesn't necessarily mean that you won't. Um, the other myth is that they'll say that you won't injure your hand if you're only using palm strikes. Uh, that's bullshit, okay? I'll tell you that from experience. Um, there was an event where I was going to, to make a very long story short, trying to defend myself against this fuckwit, I was aiming to palm strike him in the nose. Something happened, either he moved or I was off or something like that. But anyway, I ended up getting him right there, full force, by the way. It's not just one of those things where I was trying to go for a little jab. I put my shoulder into it and pushed through with the it, uh, with the attack and followed through. Um, and of course, you know, just palm striking to the forehead doesn't really cause that much damage to someone, or at least it didn't in the um, base where we were, uh, based on where we were both positioned. And so, I still followed through after I did that, and then come through with elbows and other stuff, and anyway, I end up walking away, but afterwards I had this massive fucking bruise, okay, so it was from here and here, but not only was it a bruise, but I also, uh, it was uh, some broken blood vessels in there, so, yeah, I'd take that any day over a broken knuckle, but, um, yeah, I'm just saying, if someone says that you can't injure your hand with palm strikes, uh, it's simply not true, okay? Yes, you can still in injure your hand. Um, you just won't break your knuckles unless you're really talented in the field of injuring yourself. But anyway, so in even if you can bust your knuckles, it's still far less likely than using um, a closed fist. So here's the deal. Specifically when it comes to the neck up, okay? So strikes towards the head. Yes, I will always prefer to use a palm uh, when it comes to those sort of attacks. Uh, because, well, the head has got, you know, bone and skull and stuff like that underneath, and a lot of the times people still do try to aim for the softer part, so, you know, the cheek or the jaw and, you know, what have you, but the other problem is that most people, when doing this stuff in training, like boxes and whatnot, they're wearing gloves, and so when they go out and do this stuff on the street, they get this false sense of reality that they're going to have their hands uh, intact afterwards, you know, or it's going to uh, not be as painful when they, um, when they throw the knuckles into someone's face. Uh, anyway, it's not the case. And uh, if you hit someone right here, or maybe there on the cheekbone, or even the jaw at the right angle, uh, understand if you're using a closed fist and you hit someone at full force doing so, it's kind of like if you want to imagine uh, just putting a little bit of light rubber over a bowling ball and punching that as hard as you can. It's pretty much the same thing. So I would rather not do that, okay? I'd rather use palm strikes if and when I can. Um, there's other things I'd rather do as well, but just, you know, I'm not saying like palm strikes is the only thing I'd be doing. Yeah, I'd be coming in, maybe I'd be, uh, you know, scraping across the face and coming in with some other, uh, elbows that are thrown on quarter beats and whatnot, but anyway, typically you won't ever see me punching someone, uh, directly, uh, in the facial area. The only time I might do that is the ear, but that's it. But even then I'd still prefer to use palm strikes if I can. The only time that I would use uh, a closed fist on the ear is if I'm in a position where a palm strike might not be the most comfortable thing or economically uh, tactical thing that I could do. For, for example, if the person's on the ground facing down and I'm behind them and I need to go like sort of towards the ground, well yes, palm strikes in this position, doing it this way, I'm, I know I'm getting off camera here, but anyway, so doing it that way, doing it that way if someone's on the ground, then not the best of choices. So yes, a closed fist this way is going to be something that'll work so much better with the flow and, uh, what's the word, uh, economy of motion as well as harmony with the body. Uh, other things you need to understand is that if you're not punching for the head, yeah, you can still do a palm strike directly to the sternum, it's gonna hurt someone. Uh, if you're going somewhere for like an uppercut strike towards like the stomach or something or the ribs, then yes, palm strikes here, yeah, you can do it, but I just think punches are better. With that being said, you need to take into consideration something else. 
uh, if it's cold season, so depending on where it is that you live and someone's like got a full jacket on, stuff like that. Also depending on laws and what you can legally and can't legally carry on you and stuff like that. And also you could come up with a criminal that doesn't care less either way. But the point is, is that if you're using a clo uh, closed fist and punching someone towards this area, if, think about it, they may be carrying a gun. So if that's here and you just punch this fucking like, you know, steel Colt revolver that they're carrying, guess what, you've just, there's a high chance now you've busted your knuckles. Uh, even if they got, you know, like a heavy duty cell phone somewhere in one of their pockets and you punch that, same story. You know, if they're carrying a knife somewhere on them and you punch the blade of that, same story. So, there's other things that someone could be carrying on them and so I don't want to get, you know, overzealous with ex the exact things that they're going to carry on them. I'm just saying, if there's like a item that they're carrying on them that if you punch and you can bust your knuckles, uh, if that you can bust your knuckles on, well then, this is something to consider. And so, in this situation, I would much preferably go with palm strikes if I need to. Um, and typically if I'm using a palm strike it's just to create distance enough for me to get away. So I'm going to go for areas where it's going to count. So sternum. Uh, with that being said, if I can reach the sternum, I'm close enough to reach the face. So, you know, maybe I'll go in for a jab to the throat, maybe I'll do a quick finger jab to the eyes. Um, but again, I don't want to ever say that I'll be in a situation where, you know, I may never be able to do that. Because if there's a, say, a guy that gets off his motorbike and starts abusing me for whatever reason, and he's still got his facial helmet on, well, some of the helmets are really big and they may cover the throat, especially if he might be taller than me and looking down, it's going to cover that area. So a strike to the throat may not be the most applicable thing here. If he's got his visor down over his helmet, then going for the face, or the eyes, also won't be the most uh, logical thing that I could try doing. So, yeah, maybe from here, going for the sternum in a palm strike might be the best thing I can do. So, again, it all depends on the situation. Um, and so, that's really all I wanted to say about that. There isn't really much more that, you know, for people that have a brain to really think about when it comes to palm striking versus punches. All you need to understand is that, think about the thing that you're going to punch. doesn't matter if it's, you know, here, up here, whatever it is. If you think it's going to really fucking hurt if it's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you think it's really going to hurt if you were to punch it with your bare knuckles, well, maybe use a palm strike. It, with that being said, if you think it'll still really hurt if you're going to use a full force palm strike, come up with another tactic, alright? I can't sit here and say, oh, well, if these two things aren't going to work, well then maybe do this thing. Uh, because, you know, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, this is the thing that you're going to need to figure out. So learn as many of the tactics and strikes and other things as you can, and then use it where it's best applicable. So, alright. Before I end this video, there's one other little interesting thing I figured I'd mention, and that's this boxer that I was uh, speaking to years ago. He said, oh, only real men throw punches and whatnot, only pussy faggots or something like that, only throw palm strikes. I said, really then? Okay, well, tell you what, if you're such a manly man, let's go play a game. I went over to a brick wall, said, here's how it works. I'm going to palm strike this brick wall as fast and as hard as I can. You punch it with your bare knuckles. Whoever gives up first loses. He didn't even want to fucking accept the challenge. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Alright, stay safe.